I first learned about Jerusalem University College when I was in undergraduate uh, at Greenville College in Greenville, Illinois. We have a professor who runs uh, one one month programs in January every three years and uh, I was very interested in potentially coming here to do a short-term study and uh, when I came or when I was looking into the program I didn't end up uh, having the ability to come uh, but I knew about the school and after after I graduated from college I took about a year year and a half off uh, worked and uh, really became very interested in potentially going on to grad school and I wanted to travel and uh, both came together in a beautiful way. Um, God provided an opportunity for me to be here and open doors. Uh, I started last semester and I'm studying here in the Holy Land. I'm currently studying an MA in Middle Eastern Cultures and Religions uh, which is a little different than the uh, sort of the keynote biblical history and geography uh, path. Uh, this puts me a little bit more in, in, in tune with uh, modern political and cultural issues that are happening today. Um, so I actually volunteer as well here in the Holy Land. I do I volunteer out in East Jerusalem at a school um, uh, weekly and I really enjoy doing that. It's an American Christian run school uh, working with a Palestinian student population. Um, and I help teach some classes as well as uh, spend some time with the kids in the afternoon and just hang out. Uh, studying here, I'm studying classes like the history uh, of the Orthodox Church, um, Christian communities in the East, uh, various history classes studying Islam, Judaism, uh, history of the Jews as a people, uh, many different surrounding issues uh, we're studying. Uh, in addition to that, I've studied physical settings, the keynote class, and um, currently I'm continuing studies in, in regional explorations, geography class. So trying to get a holistic view as well as uh, really specific in the communities and, and the interrelations between religions and politics here in the Holy Land. I would probably uh, classify our mission, our vision, as um, providing a uh, Christ-centered education that connects the words of Scripture, um, the words of God, with the land and the people with which He first spoke. Um, and and mentored and grew and, and truly had a deep relationship with. Um, and I think that that's a very important thing for us to do, to read scripture effectively and to truly have our lives transformed and changed. Um, I would also say that its mission is, is to engage students with the culture around them and for them to understand a modern perspective on ancient issues and really truly to start to learn rather than um, assume or, or draw conclusions, but, but learn about the peoples and the places and have a deep, passionate understanding of uh, where we are and, and who we're talking about. I would say that Jerusalem University College is equipping students um, to go out into the world in a very unique way. Um, I think oftentimes evangelism uh, maybe is, is about an inch deep and a mile wide. Um, and I think what we're doing here is, is trying to teach students to, to be able to go a couple more inches deep um, and, and really leave a lasting impression of the intent of God's Word, uh, which is to teach us more than just uh, about the, the wonderful saving grace of, of Christ. It's to get to know our, our Lord and Savior personally and um, understanding the character of God as displayed and revealed in this land really allows us to go a little bit deeper and, and, and see God for more of who He is um, as He's played out in this, in this land. So to be able to share that with people, um, whether or not um, you know, we're, we're converting people, we're, we're able to share something that is uh, deep and lasting and connected. Well, I think a key part of discipleship is to want to pursue uh, your rabbi or your leader, your, your teacher. And I think what JUC is doing very well um, to teach discipleship is teach us to A, understand our, our father and our teacher, but also give us a, a passion in, in tangible fields to, to study and, and to really go deeper with scripture. Um, if you're interested in learning the words in their original context, you can study Hebrew. Um, and you can learn how to read scripture effectively in that way. Um, that strengthens faith, that, that deepens the, the walk. Um, in, in my particular arena, it, it allows me to, 
take what is being talked about in Scripture um, and what we see on the ground here today and, and really bring those together and, and get to know not only um, you know, my Lord better, but also know what my purpose is better and be more effective in that. Um, so that really is, a, is an asset here, for sure. I think the, the body of Christ can get involved in, in a few key ways. First, uh, prayer. Prayer is very important for our campus here. Um, we're located on Mount Zion in a, in a very, uh, I wouldn't say precarious, but a very interesting location that is right in the center of a lot of issues and a lot of, uh, a lot of wonderful cultural things that are happening here. Um, and we need prayer. We need prayer for our um, stamina, but also for, for the, the mission that this school has to be a light in the midst of, of many different uh, perspectives and worldviews. I think as well, um, colleges, Christian colleges in the United States and Canada can, can encourage their students to, to come. And uh, I know that finances are obviously a major issue right now in education worldwide. Uh, but encouraging your students to study abroad, if they're interested in, in studying these issues, they really need to have the experience of coming here. And uh, it will change their lives. It, it sh has changed mine, it changes everybody's life who comes here. Um, and that experience is priceless. I'm at JUC um, first and foremost because the Lord told me to go. And I, I really believe in following God's call on our lives. Um, I studied history and political science when I was an undergraduate and it's something that I'm very passionate about, is understanding, not just assuming and coming to conclusions about what's happening in the world or in, even in the United States, but to study the issues, to get to know the people, to be invested at a local level, um, to really gain a sense of, of who the people are that we are communicating with, um, how God is already at work within their communities and, and our communities, and really learning to uh, appreciate that and partner with that rather than, um, I guess, come in and, and, and take over. Um, the Lord's already greatly at work worldwide, and uh, we can be immense partners in that, and He invites us to be that. Um, but it's His vision, and it's His, it's His purpose that we fall into, not our own. And I'm excited to be a part of that, and that's why I'm here. I think one of the most unique things about JUC is definitely its interaction with the land. And one of the ways that we do that in every class, regardless of the subject, is we have field studies. Um, what we study in class is a lot of data, a lot of information, um, and it's definitely a challenge at times to take all that in, but um, it really brings to light the issues that we're talking about when we go out and we study them in the field. And um, physical settings, of course, is, is, is the best class as an example for that. Being able to walk in the places that we've studied and being able to see uh, not just archaeological remains or, or tells or you know many different sites that are important but being able to personally apply uh, what is happening in scripture uh, today in the classroom um, among the people getting to meet Bedouin um, out in the desert getting to uh, see very different cultures in action in an ancient context, as well as a modern context, is, is just an amazing experience. I really uh, have a passion for the truth, and I really do believe that one thing that can be gained from looking deeper into not just JUC, but the Holy Land in general, is an understanding of how at work God really is in, in this land. And I think oftentimes we are fearful because of media reports, or, or th you know, and, and I think people need to see the Holy Land for what it really is. It's communities that yes, have issues like all of us. Um, some of those issues have been more violent in history, but these issues um, are not, uh, they're, they're not untangible. We, we see them, we can understand them. And um, I think getting to know the people and seeing the heart that God has put in each one of us worldwide um, is a huge key to both evangelism but relationship building for the purpose of making disciples and um, rather than seeing the world through a uh, perspective from home seeing the world from the real perspective on the ground um, and I think this applies everywhere we can go home and we can see who people are by getting to know them uh, rather than uh, you know knowing 
by reading or just seeing them from afar. Get to know them.